Hi, my name is Armin Stone, and in my 3 minute science video I'm going to talk about hexagons in beehives. Why are beehives always formed from hexagons? Do hexagons have something special? Let's see why bees only choose this figure. Honey bees are fascinating creatures, not only because of their incredible work ethic or the honey they produce, but also because of their excellence in math. Scientists claim that bees can calculate angles and comprehend the roundness of the earth. But a 2000 year old mystery is the beehive. It serves as bees home and the place to store their honey. Because of this reason, the hive needs to be perfect. If you have ever seen a beehive, you might have wondered why the hive cells are all hexagons, always and only hexagons. Bees need a serious space efficiency to store their nectar and to keep their colony secure. The solution to this problem is to build little storage units, just big enough for a bee to fit into. But why hexagons? Bees, after all, could build honeycombs from rectangles, or squares, or triangles. But for some reason, bees choose perfect hexagons. The very first to give a hypothesis or an answer to this question was Marcus Terentius Varro, a Roman soldier, scholar and writer. He thought that maybe a honeycomb made of hexagons can hold more honey. Maybe building hexagon walls require less wax. This was called the honeybee conjecture. Bees created a plan to build the honeycomb. They chose shapes which are all the same. And it would be even easier if the sides were all equal, so every side could fit in and all the bees could work simultaneously. This way, a honeycomb is basically an easy jigsaw puzzle. Ok, that explains why the honeycomb cells are all same sized and so perfect. But back to our first question, why hexagons? Is there something special about hexagons? A honeycomb built from spheres would have little gaps between each unit, requiring so extra wax to patch the walls. Bees have to consume 28 grams of honey to produce only 3.5 grams of wax, so they don't want to waste it. There are only three geometrical figures with equal size that can fit together without leaving gaps, equilateral triangles, squares, and hexagons. So which one to choose? The triangle? The square? The hexagon? Which one is the best? Here's where Marcus Terentius Varro made his great contribution with his conjecture. Bees wanted the figure that will use the least amount of wax and be able to store the most amount of honey. And if you calculate the area of the triangle, square and the hexagon, you can see the area of the hexagon is actually greater. So bees could store more honey in a hexagonal cell and would need less wax to build the walls. The honey bee is a masterpiece of engineering and any architect would have been proud to design it.